Boy, sure does feel good to be out of the city for once. Doesn't it, Mav? Sure does, Sparky. Sometimes I feel like I can't see the forest for the buildings. I think you mean trees. But there aren't many trees in the city. Fair point. Hey, uh, do you still have that client letter? I know you gave me the rundown earlier, but I'm just still a little foggy on the details. Sure thing, Sparky. It says, Dear Sparky and Mod. Dear Sparky and Mav, my name is Mr. E States, and I am a real estate shark with a supernatural problem. I have a house for sale, but no one wants to buy it because it appears to be haunted. Haunt? Hold on, Mob. Did you just say haunted? Uh, yes, oh. haunted. Haunted by what? Please don't say a ghost. Please don't say a ghost. Please by a ghost. a ghost. Oh, Mob. You said this was a spiritual conundrum. I thought we were going to a spa or something. You know, like a nice, relaxing investigation. Uh, something like the mysterious case of who forgot to wipe down their yoga mat. Well, and it will be relaxing, Sparky. Just look at all these trees. Plus, we both know ghosts aren't real anyway. Uh, my last apartment was haunted. Mm, you mean you thought your last apartment was haunted. Turns out it was just your cat moving your furniture in the middle of the night, remember? No need to get too scared, yet. Perhaps this is just another cat behaving like a ghost situation. Exactly. Now let's go find this Mr. E State's realtor guy. Maybe you were right, Sparky. I don't like the look of this. No wonder they haven't been able to sell this place. They don't need detectives. They just need a decorator. Yeah, I think I saw a chainsaw back there. Let's hope not. Hey, Sparky, check it out. What do we have here? It looks like a footprint. Sure does. The question is, whose footprint? Certainly not a ghost. They don't even have feet. Well, I guess they have tiny little ghost feet. Ah, but ghost feet do not footprints make, my friend because ghosts are made of ectoplasm. Ectoplasm? Yeah, like in Ghostbusters. For someone who doesn't believe in ghosts, you sure know a lot about them. Well, you never know too much about anything, even the made up stuff like ghosts. It's a good point. Mav, put your foot next to the print. Ah, just as I suspected. A tiny footprint. Mm -hmm. Tiny little ghost print? No, tiny little human print. Uh, well, I haven't seen any tiny little humans running around. Me either. Let's keep our eye out, though. What's this? Note, beware, all ye who enter here. This is my house. Ooh, look at, they didn't finish writing. Uh, look at the scribbles at the bottom. Whoever did this must have gotten out of here in a hurry. That's really spooky. Wow, it's quiet up here. Too quiet. I'm starting to get a bad feeling about this case, Sparky. Why, hello there! <coughs> Sparky and Mal! It's me! I'm Mr. E. States, the realtor! Oh, 
Wait, why didn't you just say so? I did. Right. Uh, wait, I thought in your letter you said you were a, a shark. Well, I'm a real estate shark by trade, but I'm a moose by all other definitions. Oh, huh. makes sense. It's nice to meet you, Mr. Estates. I'm Mav. Nice to meet you, Mav. And you're Sparky, I presume. Yes, I am. I, I'm sorry. I, I'm just a little, uh... <laughs> Sparky uh, doesn't do too well with G-O-S-T-S. -S. I know how to spell ghosts, Mav. Besides, you spelled it wrong anyways. Well, regardless, I'm happy to have you both here. I'm in a predicament, I tell you, a predicament indeed. Oh, yes, please, tell us all about it. Well, you see, Sparky and Marv, this house, these woods, they're all... Please don't say haunted, please don't say haunted, please don't say haunted. Haunted. Oh, twice in one day. <laughs> tell us the whole story, Mr. E. Well, it all started about a week ago when I was preparing for an open house. It was a beautiful summer day. I was just getting the house prepared to sell. A lovely family is having me sell this home for them because they moved to the big city. I finished putting up my sign and everything was looking just swell when the weather began to change. I headed inside for shelter, but something was amiss. It was cold inside. I noticed a strange scent in the air, like something you would smell on a school bus at the end of a long, hot day. All the candles I had lit suddenly started blowing out. I was starting to get seriously spooked, so I turned to go back outside. Then I saw him. The Phantom Kid. I ran out of there faster than a cheetah on roller skates. Before I knew it, the whole town was talking about the haunting of the Phantom Kid. Phantom Kid? How do you know he's a kid? Well, he is a fan of the written word. See? He leaves all these letters. He always signs them Phantom Kid. So that's what I call him. I try to address everyone by their preferred title, even if that someone is a ghost. I think you two found his latest note on the door here. Oh, that's what he must have written at the bottom of the letter. Those scribbles, it must have been his name. He wrote so fast, it doesn't even seem like he finished signing it. Perhaps not. He is a feisty one, that spirit. How come he's able to write all that, you know, since he's a ghost and all? Great point, Mav. Ghosts don't write, they don't even have fingers. And what about that footprint we saw earlier? Excellent deduction. That was a kid's footprint. And now we have a so-called ghost calling himself the Phantom Kid. Well, that may be, but I think you will be convinced this haunting is real soon enough. I suppose I should leave you two to it. I'll just be around here cleaning up the mess. Some neighborhood kids down the street must have dumped their summer ween decorations here in the yard. Those rascals. Oh, so that's why the front yard looks like a Halloween store. Yes, that would be why. Anyway, I'll be around if you need me. Please bring this mystery to an end, Sparky and Mav. I'm counting on you. We won't let you down, Mr. E. That's right, you can count on us. All righty, check in soon. Well, Mav, this might be our spookiest caper yet. I know, I'm so excited. That makes one of us. <laughs> <laughs>